If you've been following Samsung leaks lately, you've probably noticed one thing. The Galaxy S26 Ultra story has turned into a full-on processor soap opera. And honestly, I get why. People have been begging Samsung to stick with Snapdragon for the Ultra model, and for a while it looked like they weren't going to listen. Everyone thought the Exynos 2600 was locked in. But plot twist, new reports say Samsung might actually be going back to Snapdragon. Except now the Snapdragon itself is causing drama. So here's where things get interesting. The Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 is basically the hottest, literally hottest chip of the year. It's insanely fast. It destroys benchmarks. It's built for AI. And Chinese phones are already showing off how powerful it is on paper. It's the perfect fit for the S26 Ultra. This thing is supposed to be a rocket, but rockets get hot. And this one might be cooking itself. Android Authority ran the chip through some brutal stress tests using phones like the Red Magic 11 Pro and the Realme GT8 Pro. At first, the chip flexed hard, full power, smooth performance, zero hesitation. And then the temperature shot up, not a bit warm, more like your phone is now a skillet. One of the devices even hit over 52 degrees Celsius during the 3D Mark stress test and kept shutting down before the test could finish. That's not just a red flag, that's a giant blinking billboard saying fix your cooling. They even tested a third phone, the OnePlus 15. And the pattern was the same. If the cooling was good, the chip behaved. If the cooling was weak or the vapor chamber was small, performance tanked fast and the phone turned into a hand warmer nobody asked for. And this is where Samsung's real challenge begins. If they genuinely want to use the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 in the S26 Ultra, and especially the rumored custom version that clocks the Prime Core even higher, they absolutely cannot cheap out on cooling. They'd need a vapor chamber at least 15% bigger than the S25 Ultras, or they'd have to tweak the chip heavily. And yeah, Samsung does customize Qualcomm chips all the time. But in this situation, that might mean underclocking it which, let's be honest, no one is going to be excited about. This whole overheating situation might even push Samsung back toward the Exynos 2600, depending on how fast they can fix these thermal issues. The company is basically stuck between a furnace and a hard place. Go with Exynos and risk upsetting fans, or go with Snapdragon and risk shipping a phone that gets hotter than a summer road in Delhi. But hey, that's the fun of early leaks. Everything sounds chaotic until Samsung quietly figures it out behind the scenes. Whether it's Exynos or Snapdragon, we're all hoping. The S26 Ultra doesn't end up being a flagship you need oven mitts for. It. Anyway, that's where things stand right now, at least from what we know. I'm curious what you think about all this. Would you still pick the Snapdragon version even if it runs hotter? Or should Samsung play it safe and stick with Exynos? Drop your thoughts below and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.